as the tribe emerges from the dark, wet jungle. The tribe knows not what it will see. Bing! Naked hula girls! What? And two other unfinished accidental broadcast stickers. And Athena all busted up. And a blister on my thumb. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, Sony. Come on, baby. Ow. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Should have hit the rear brake. Such an idiot. Uh, this will be a little damage report video. It's probably going to be kind of short, but I'm also going to do a little analysis of what I think occurred during this little crash. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. Here, check it out real quick. So that was pretty gnarly and luckily what happened, the only thing that really happened was I got a little blister on my thumb. My left foot hurts a little, wasn't wearing my gear, I know. Give me a hard time in the comments below, feel free. Anyways, damage to the bike was uh, pretty minimal actually for, for how freaking graphic that was. The foot peg, the right foot peg, took a nice whack. It hit the curb. This was actually way up here. We went to Miller Time's house. Yeah, Miller Time. I know you're watching this right now and wondering why all your tools are misplaced. It's because we were there, and I was pounding on this thing with a sledgehammer. Anyways, got it back down a little. So that's that. I ordered a new one of these today, just off eBay. Um... I have to find this OEM back plate here because it's, it's there's a little separation theory occurring on the frame. But so there's that. That's probably the worst little thing. The tail light was pretty much absolutely destroyed. This whole thing was rolled up into this and the the tail was like <laughs> two feet up in the air. So you can kind of see right there. Come on Sony, focus. Fo hey, hey. Come on, baby, grab some focus. There we go. You can see that in there. It just kind of got shredded. The uh, back part of the frame got a little bit of... Oh, ow. Oh, the knee kind of hurts a little. That got a little toasted. I don't remember whether or not I had bolts in here, but if I did, they're gone. There's a radiator. Front radiator guard took a blast. You can see it rip that part of the... What you might call Hoosier Jagger out. That got a nice little bit of compression. Even with the radiator guard, it blasted through all that stuff. But, you know, it's a lot of weight falling on that guard. So I think it did its job. It uh, definitely would have been a whole lot worse without that guard on there. That's a Flatland Racing guard. Did pretty damn well. Obviously, I could ride the bike home, which was nice. That's kind of wacky, but I think once I back that nut off, it's gonna, it's going to tap the threads again. Um, yeah, just a little bit of. That's about it for damage. So minimal damage. That's irritating because that whole ah, ugh. I, I want like one of those bars that goes around the back, that flat. I forget what they're called. Here's my analysis of what I think happened. I know a lot of people in the comment section are saying you should have hit the rear brake, all that jazz. You should have hit the rear brake, Kalani. You should have hit that rear brake. All you had to do was just give it a little tap, tap, tap it a -roo. Just tap on that rear brake. Bring that bike right back down, all nice like. It's easy. Just give it a little tap, tap, tap it a -roo. You should have done it, Kalani. You should have done it. Well, I did attempt to do it, and <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty, I would think that I'm pretty well versed on understanding that and using that technique to bring the bike back down. The problem was the bike was in second gear. Um, in addition, there was a little whiskey throttle going on because I misjudged what gear it was in. What you didn't see in that video was right before that I was in third gear, tried to wheelie it, 
with the bars being pulled on because I was at a RPM that wasn't sufficient and it was a low RPM and I knew I had to give it a little bit of yank to just to give it a little bit of oomph you know get it get it get those RPMs up and the bike didn't lift and then my brain didn't tell me that it quickly downshifted in a second so I tried it again with a really hard tug and <laughs> that in second gear that was enough just to startle me and bring me up past that balance point way too fast and as I went to hit the brake there's a little bit of travel right here before the brake actually starts see it's a it's at about this point right there it's not much but just that little bit of travel that it took to push that brake pedal down wasn't enough the bike was already going so it was like bye bye let that thing go let it fly she wasn't Athena wasn't happy about that but it's a hell of a lot better than holding on to the bike and rolling down the road with all this metal. So outside of that, here's my analysis of what, what also occurred. I just changed my rear tire yesterday and I put a 120-90-18 on the back. Whereas for the last year or more I've been using a 120-80-18. You can see the profile differences. This thing is so low profile, especially once it's worn. Then you got this guy right here, which is easily twice the... Which, here, let me grab this tire and just so you can see what I'm kind of talking about here. I know it's not exactly the same, but you can see the, the difference here. So I think partially as well what happened... I mean, this is definitely some rider error big time, for sure. I mean, I was, I was way too... Uh, you know, I was vlogging and you, you know how it is. Half your brain is in vlogging, the other half is in riding, which is very dangerous. But what I think occurred here was I'm so used to the diameter of this old tire here. You know, obviously you give it more throttle and it's going to be spinning faster so that you, you're going to have more time to play with that rotation versus what's happening in the throttle. Whereas this bigger diameter, brand new knob, is all sticky, is going to send a lot more spin to the tire with regards to the throttle, um, you know, actuation. So I think it was a little bit of that. It was several factors. I mean, I've been wheeling for a long time and I'm super confident with them and very confident bringing them back down. It was just, it was just the perfect storm there. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it. I'm gonna get the bike back together. I'm. I'm pretty much fine. I'm totally fine. My shoulder hurts a little bit. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Should have been wearing my damn gear. Anyways, guys, thanks for all the comments and all the loving, and I will catch you on the flip side. Ooh, wait a minute. Show me that little hula girl one more time. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Nipple dive. Ooh.